Right, hi man guys. Um, today I'm just doing a, a video, a quick update. I haven't done a video in a long, 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 long time. Um, haven't been so well, but when I have been okay, I've been trying to get my Tesla coil done. Go for the curtain and let a bit of light in. Um, so as you can see, I've got my secondary there. And it's got God knows how many coats of varnish on. Um, that's one nice thing, I've just been able to keep putting thin coats of varnish on um, throughout the last few weeks. Um, you can see my top load there. That's the one that Ant gave me. I had quite an accident with the uh, last one. Um, it's had new duct input on there and is being filled, as you can see obviously. Um, but I haven't finished that one because I've been busy with this one. Now it looks very dodgy, I know. But in actual fact, it's very, 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 very smooth. Um, and it's been varnished, which is why it looks all of that random colour. And it is actually now smooth, like really smooth and ready to paint. Not paint, sorry. Um, ready to. Um, Foil tape, I'm going to use this type of foil tape. I've got some new reels sitting there, um, which that's quite nice because that's a, another thing that I can just do when I'm just sat in my chair not being able to do much. Um, so, you know, this and this both took a long time. I mean, when you look at that, it looks like it's going to need an awful lot of sanding. Um, but I'll finish off the first coat and then the second coat will go on so smooth that in actual fact this looked the same as that on its first coat and it probably took about 10 minutes of sanding tops and it is really smooth now um, so yeah it's really good um, got a little capacitor down there after giving my bro my other capacitor I just could not have the one. I just needed one. It felt like wrong not to have one. And you can see there's a size comparison. Right, this could be a bit difficult because I'm going to have to not bend down. So I'm just going to lower my camera and see how big it is compared to a 2 litre bottle. It's about the same size, about the same height. And width wise, it's a little bit wider. Um, and yeah, that is the one I gave, and was 12 kV um, for UF, I think. Uh, I can't really remember from being honest. You can probably tell I've had a lot of medication again today. Well, I have a lot of medication every day, but um, this one is 11 kV at 6 UF, so that's pretty cool. Be looking forward to popping some stuff. I think uh, I think about three weeks time should be going to see my bro. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that in the car. Well, I won't be able to get it in the car, but hopefully we'll be able to get it in the car, link the two up in parallel, and go for some big bangs. Um, now the only other thing that I've been sort of planning and working on is my Terry filler. Um, I've got two 300 watt resistors here. Um, now the optimum for these is to be a 1k ohm um, but these have got optional tap points now these optional tap points between here and here is 2.2k ohm so if I link that and that together it gives me 1.1k ohm um, but 1.1k ohm is 600 watts so I'm waiting for the other two of these to turn up in the pipes basically and there will be four on there so I'll have basically two 600 watt 1k resistors um, the plan for it is is the gonna have two inputs obviously um, from the neon sign transformers and that is going to go directly to that capacitor yeah I, I, I know it's two um, but obviously joined together it's now one and they will be that will be the first stage of filtering um, that won't go to earth or anything that will just be just straight across between the two 
two main inputs. Um, then you can see I've got my MOVs here. Probably going to drill out and maybe this other piece of board there and put them on so it's a bit neater. That was just the holes that was in the board. Um, so I've got that. That's obviously another stage of the filtering. Now I plan on having this. I don't know if you want to see this. It is a temperature unit that I can set to switch on and off whenever I will whatever temperature I decide um, and basically I can put a uh, little thermo coupler not thermo coupler I can't think what they're called now and attach it to the side of one of the MAVs so that when they warm up if they warm up I can have it automatically shut the whole system down um, I won't have it automatically start it up again because that could be a bit dangerous just having your Tesla coils stop and then suddenly start up could be a bit dodgy um, I've then got the third part of the filter system here. This one will be going to earth. These will be going obviously to the two outputs. And the the next part, which I suppose that will be one, two, three, four, because the resistors are actually part of it as well. Um, and then I'll have the, the, the next part is going to be, I've got some of these balls, I seem to have lost when it's rolled off the bed. Um, but that's going to be an adjustable spark gap. Going to sit on those insulators. Going to be one there, one on the side, and one like that in the middle. And you'll be able to adjust the two outside ones to the right. So that'll be my safety gap, and the middle one will be uh, so that will basically link up to that, and that'll be going to RF earth, not not actually. Um, like the house there so yeah that's sort of my plans that's what I've been doing as you can see I haven't although I've sort of achieved quite a lot I haven't been doing much I've been doing about 20 minutes or in total a day I suppose um, so yeah it's been been taking some time but um, I've actually just got myself a new cripple wagon which I'm quite excited about. I got one um, before and it was a little bit slow and it can, couldn't actually get anywhere. It took me 40 minutes to get to my mum's house but I've just now got myself a new cripple wagon. So um, I can actually get to my mum's house and my brother's house in about 10 minutes now. So I'm pretty chuffed with that and hopefully it'll actually make my life a bit easier for getting around and whatnot. I don't think it'll make uh, Vicky's life much easier, mind you, because it's pretty heavy and she has to lift it in the car, but she uh, she doesn't mind anything to anything to help me out. So, uh, from there. Anyway, guys, if you've got any uh, questions, comments, please comment, like, subscribe, all of the other stuff that you have to do, you don't have to do, feel free to do. Um, and I will keep you updated on on how things keep going and I don't know whether I'll have any more videos I've still got some videos to do on those bits over there which are request videos on one that is that thing there um, the induction coil and um, the same sort of thing on those over there I've got a couple of the vintage um, violet wand ray wand things that people are wanting uh, to see a bit more inside so I might do them um, if I get time, if I don't get time to do them before I see and my next video will be when I'm at Ant, so uh, I'm sure you guys will be looking forward to that as uh, much as I am. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and we shall speak again soon, hopefully. Thanks.